So we can be like, do 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 music, 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 and then I can just be like, Click on that. Click on that, click on that, click on this. Click on this. Click. And here be Nuclear Throne. How's it look for you? Just let me know how it looks on the, on the stream. Because this is the first time I've ever streamed Nuclear Throne. I've never tested it. So we might be dropping frames. We might. I'm hoping we look great. Because for me it looks great on this end. And, uh, does it sound good? I'm pretty sure I have all my sound settings right on it. Because I don't usually blast music. This the, the soundtrack of this game is phenomenal, though. The music in this game is so good. Yep. Alright. Let's run the daily real quick. Well, this is Nuclear Throne. Uh, these are the characters in the game. Obviously, you only start with two. You start with Fish and Crystal. You unlock Eyes, Melting, Plant, YV, Robot, Steroids, Chicken, Rebel, Horror. You unlock all of them. Uh, Melting is my favorite character. Because he's the glass cannon. And because we're playing the daily, we're just going to go for it. But this is Nuclear Throne! It is a procedurally generated roguelite where I am a mutant and you have these procedurally generated levels that you have to go through and kill mutants and try not to die is pretty much the goal of the game different weapons, different kinds of mutations that you can pick up. Every every level ends with a black hole when you kill all the enemies. I don't know if it's on a mobile device. You'll, you would have to double check. I don't actually remember if it is. I know it's on pretty... I know it's on a lot of stuff, though. Like, you can get it on PS4, you can get it on Xbox, you can get it on... I think you can get it on Xbox. You can get it on PS4, PC, Mac, Linux... Linux, or however you want to pronounce it. Everybody else pronounces it differently. And I die. And that's what happens when you die. <laughs> I made it 53 seconds into the run. <laughs> so, let's see how I did on my daily. I got 340 second place on that daily, but I chose melting. So we'll go back and we'll just do a regular run. And we're gonna play as Melting, who I'll just introduce you to the characters real quick. It does look really it's a, such a good game. Uh Fish, he's your starting basic character. He just gets more ammo and starts with more ammo for your guns, and he can dodge roll. Crystal is uh she, it's a girl. She is kind of your newbie character. She's who you want to play as if you're new to the game, because she has a lot of he uh health. And she can shield from projectiles. Eyes you unlock, that's not what it usually looks like. You have all these unlockables for each character. I actually have his second skin on that you have to unlock, but Eyes is the character that you unlock. And he has, he can see in the dark, so the dark levels in the game, you don't have the darkness, kind of like in Pokemon with the flash in the caves. You don't have that, like, black aura around you with him. And he has telekinesis that can pull in items and enemies and all kinds of stuff. Melting, who's the glass cannon, he starts with 2 HP, which means he dies in one hit, but he gets more experience, which are red rads or radiation, and he can explode corpses for his uh, secondary attack. Plant is just really fast and can snare enemies on the ground. YV is kind of hard to unlock, but he has a golden revolver, revolver, and he has a higher rate of fire, so he can shoot like two bullets at a time sometimes. Robot, same thing here, it's his secondary skin. 
but robot's awesome because robot finds really good weapons and he can eat bad weapons to heal himself so he's like one of my favorite characters to play as chicken who's really hard to unlock it's like the annoying lines in Pokemon right uh, chicken who's really hard to unlock but I mean depending on your skill level he can be really hard to unlock but chicken or she it's a she uh, she's really hard to kill and I don't really want to spoil why just in case you end up playing it, but Chicken's a hard character to play as. And Horror is really cool. He's kind of hard to unlock, but that's why he's at the end of the line. These two are like the harder ones to unlock, but Horror has extra mutation choice, so we'll show you the mutations when I play more. And he has a giant radiation beam that he can shoot using up your experience. So he uses, ex he uses experience as a weapon, which is kind of cool. So we'll try out melting one more time, and we'll show you the quartz explosions. So if I shoot this maggot, I can blow him up by right-clicking. And that hurts all of the enemies, but I can also blow up cactuses and blow those up as well. So you can imagine the chain reactions you can get with him. Assault rifle's really good. Assault Rifle fires three short bursts. Those uh, gift boxes always have an ammo type of something you don't currently have. There's three different types, well there's three different regular types of chests. There's a bunch of different types of chests, but there's these gift boxes, which always have ammo of some sort that you don't currently have. So right now I'm just using regular bullets up in this top left. Regular bullets, shells, bolts, uh, explosives, and energy. So I got bolts from that because I don't currently have a weapon that uses bolts. This is my HP, my first weapon and its ammo, my second weapon and its ammo, and my current level. Green bar is the experience. Red chests are always supply chests, they have a weapon of random choice. This is our level up. So anytime you level up, you get a mutation. You get a, one mutation, they're all randomly re-rolled. Uh, they're not random, like there's there are specific mutations you can choose from, but they are which ones you get are random. They're, they're a roll of a dice. So right now we've got Recycle Gland, which means that when most hits bullet they become ammo. Shotgun Shoulders, shells bounce further from shotgun weapons. Strong Spirit, which prevents death one time, but that's actually not true. This is always tricks people. It prevents death once and recharges at full HP in the next area. This, uh, this mutation always confuses people because what it actually does is it prevents death once you reach zero, it brings you back to one HP. And then if you recharge yourself in the next area to full HP, you can bring, your back, bring yourself back from life one more time again. So it, you can recharge the mutation by filling your health up in the next area. So it's kind of cool. And attract traps and rats from further, which I'm just going to take because I like getting more rats. I just explode everything. There are melee weapons, which there's a screwdriver on the ground over there, but I don't really like the screwdriver. So I'm just thinking of not grabbing it, but I might as well. Actually, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab the grenade launcher instead. The explosions also don't hurt me. So if I explode a corpse and I go over and pull myself up, it doesn't actually hurt me as well. Alright, so we got extra chest spawn with open mind, better accuracy with eagle eyes, which is nice. Mutate later patience, this is a reroll, so if you don't like your abilities here, you can reroll and get these four rerolled for the next level up, which is what we're going to do. We're going to reroll because I don't like really any of those. I almost just killed myself because I forgot I was playing as Melting. Explosions also, there's the boss. First level boss. Or first area boss, I should say. So I just took one HP because those maggots deal one HP damage. 
And I died. So I think we're just going to fill up our second, our third hour of the stream with this. And then I'm probably going to get off because I want to call my dad after stream. But, uh, we'll fill up our second hour with this and we'll go through, I don't want to play as Melting again. We'll play as different characters. So that's Melting. We'll show you Fish. Fish can dodge roll, which dodges bullets and stuff. Other than that, he just carries more ammo and can pick up more ammo. And he also has a lot more health, because he doesn't start limited like uh, Melting does. So he can take more than one hit. <laughs> I also gotta remember I can't blow corpses up. And I also gotta remember that I don't... Oh, shit. I also gotta remember I don't get uh, as much experience as Melting does. Ooh, okay, so these are good ones. So we got push through limited number of walls, which I don't actually like. But we got slower enemy bullets, which is a fantastic ability. Last Witch, which last wish, which gives you full HP and some ammo. And then we got more melee range. Always go longer arms. Ooh. Always go longer arms. So with a game like this, it's really hard to look at chat, so if I'm not seeing stuff that you're typing, I apologize. Oh, I got that screwdriver and I died. We'll give fish one more try. I don't like fish. I don't really like playing as fish. I usually also don't like grabbing the first, uh, chest in each area. I usually like leaving the chests there. There's a, there's a reason for that, which, if I feel like spoiling you or if you're okay with being spoiled, I'll spoil it for you, but... There's a reason I usually don't like grabbing it. There's all kinds of goody secrets in this game. Uh, none of these are good. You're definitely going to play this. Uh, none of these are good. We'll get more HP from medkits, I guess. None of those were very good. Little tips and tricks about the game. Always make sure that... I mean, I'm gonna pass up on that. I don't need it, and I'll show you exactly why. Spoil it. So now we're at 1 3, which is the last area of level 1, which means we're going to be coming into our boss, Big Bandit, again. There he is. Got the pop gun. And I died. <laughs> Alright, I can't play as fish, I'm sorry. I can't play as fish. We'll play as Crystal next. Crystal's good. She starts with 10 health. And she can do this. Shoot at me. She can do this. She can shield from uh, attacks. If specific enemies attack you, like him, he's got terrible aim. There's no, like, mana bar either, so you can use that as many times as you want. You just gotta recharge. So, like, I can hold it down, and then it recharges like that, but as long as it runs out, you can just spam it and use it as many times as you want. Which a lot of people like. Oh, shit. Watch this. For certain bullets, you can knock back at people.
And that's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I didn't want my weapon chest to get opened. Because if you don't open your weapon chest until the next area, you have a chance of it upgrading into a larger weapon chest, which carries, like, a bunch of different weapons. Uh, extra feet, walk normal on all terrain, and extra speed is nice. We'll just take the grenade launcher. And we'll replace this with the SMG. I should have used my, uh... Yeah, if you're okay with spoilers, because there's gonna be... I'm not gonna say that I'm, like, ridiculously good at the game, because I'm nowhere near one of the best people in the game. I've never actually even made it to the nuclear throne itself, so, like, I'm not even remotely close to good at this game. I just enjoy this game. But there will be spoilers, because there's, like... I may not have gotten very far in it, but... I've unlocked a lot of stuff, and I know a lot of the secrets, so... I'm trying to, like, it's really hard streaming this game. I didn't realize how hard it would be, like, I'm trying to... Alright. We're gonna play as eyes. We'll play as eyes with the 3D glasses on. I like eyes. And you'll find out once we get to Area 3, which... Surprisingly, I usually don't have this much trouble getting to Area 3. And I also don't have as much trouble usually aiming. <laughs> so I'm not gonna open my uh, weapon chest and hoping that it's going to turn into a. It didn't turn into a large weapon chest. That's fine. I don't require it to, I just like it when it does. Ah, get off of me. It's a laser pistol. Laser pistols aren't even that good. But it's a free one, so why not? I have energy to use. Energy is my weapon, right, my ammo for this. Not gonna open that still. Still gonna skip the uh the weapons. Ooh, Rhino Skin is max 4 HP. That's a great upgrade. I would say it's a it's a fan favorite of nuclear drones without players. <laughs> and he's dead. But we're actually gonna take the shotgun instead of this. I do not like energy weapons in this game. I cannot believe I got hit there. That's because it's a special enemy. I did not realize it was a special sword. There's our large weapon chest. Jeez, once we get over there, open it up. <gasps> no! It didn't suck in my weapons. Ah, oh, there was a shovel. Shovel's the best melee weapon in the game. That's all right. That's why we like roguelites. We can keep playing them over and over again. Oh, we got the sledgehammer! Sweet. You know what? This is actually the best weapon in the game. Melee weapon in the game. Completely forgot about the sledgehammer. Oh, shit. Those melee guys 
suck. Got him. Those big mamas suck too. I'm trying to move. Normally that level's not lit up like that. That was Eye's ability. He's able to see in the dark. So we're playing as robot. We're playing as robot. I'm playing as robot. I don't care. I love robot. I love playing as robot. I love everything there is to love about robot. He is such a good character. One of the harder ones to unlock, too. So. Break all these guys so that weapon chest doesn't get opened. Oh, get these ammo. Gotta love this game. <laughs> I've been playing this game a lot lately. I think I've played this game, like, over the past couple weeks, this was kind of my game that I've been playing. I'm gonna actually try and drag you over here. Do we have a guy up here that I can... Oh, dang it. Come on. I'm gonna try and pull him away from the weapon chest. I don't want that weapon chest getting sucked up. I want a mega weapon chest. Homing bolts, killers, kills reload your attract rats from further. Always attract rats from further, especially for the AT boxes. Attracting those from further to save your life. Not even a joke. Attracting HP drops from uh, further away in later levels can be the difference between life and death. Chest. Oh my gosh, it's got so many good things in it, so many pretty, pretty things. Try and grab that shovel. And I'm gonna try and grab this uh, toxic launcher, disc gun, assault rifle. Get it all to. See, the shovel is so good, and I'll show you why. Better accuracy, I don't need to prevent our death once. I was hoping to suck more of those weapons through with us. See, the shovel hits in three directions. Which is why longer arms, the one where it raises your melee range, is invaluable. Oh, Jesus. And you can hit through walls. I was hoping those weapons would suck down with us because I'm playing as a robot, which means I can eat them to heal. And I kinda need some heal. Healing power. Oh god, now I really need healing power. I really need health. I don't want to lose with a shovel. I hate losing with the shovel. I'm gonna use the assault rifle. I'm not even gonna risk it. You know what? I will eat this triple machine gun. It didn't give me health. It gave me ammo. It can also give you ammo, which I forgot about. Get the rads. Oh, man. Rhino skin. Oh, I want it. Mutate later. It's worth it. Rhino skin's worth it. I don't have any weapons to eat right now. So now we're in level 3. Or world 3, I should say. Which is the scrapyard. Not a super hard area. It's just one of the more tricky areas because we've got things that explode everywhere. These guys themselves actually explode, so you never want to hit them with melee. 
unless they're from like further away. Bad, because they actually explode. We'll open this assault slugger, which is like bam, bam, bam. We'll eat this, and we got an, uh, HP. HP from that too. <laughs> Another really cool part about melee weapons. Let's see if I can find a way to show you without dying. Good thing about melee weapons is I'll show you a little bit. Might as well just show you against the boss once we get to him. I don't want to blow that portal up. On the portal up. I will take the plasma rifle and I will eat it. It didn't give me HP, unfortunately. We just have one of you guys chilling over here. You're going to bed? Alright, well, good night. Thanks for hanging out, though. We'll be streaming more nuclear throne for you, though. Don't worry about that. There will be more nuclear throne. what I'm doing right now. I can actually hit back bullets. Just like in any hit back those rockets. I want to run. This guy can explode. This guy explodes when he dies. <laughs> Just like right there. Victory. Yeah. See you next stream, man. Got some HP. Yeah, hitting back bullets is definitely one of the key things you want to do. Now we're in 4 1. We are in the Crystal Caves, and we got the double flame shotgun here. Trying not to get killed. Some HP down here. He finds such good weapons. Robot is my f my favorite character that I think I can make it to the nuclear throne with. Melting is just my favorite character to run as because he's super fun. But as far as like a character that I think I'll be able to do well with, Robot's my favorite by far. By far. Screwdriver.
Oh, I forgot. Let's get that rhino skin. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. stuff is going to get carried in with me. Good feet. Right, so we got the wrench. Get out of here. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that. None of that gave me HP. <laughs> really? say so myself. I'm gonna eat the flare gun though. Got some HP from it, that's good. The sledgehammer this game is really good. I'm actually like just biggest reason why weapons I don't want to use I can use for HP. Oh no! I hate these melee guys. I hate these melee guys, man! Oh, I'm gonna try robot. One more time. I'm gonna try and get a good run going here. I wanna finish the stream on a good run. Guys, I wanna finish the stream on the best run we'd ever had before. We just, we just beat Pokemon Black. I wanna finish this on the best note possible. That's my own congratulations for beating that damn Pokemon game. <laughs> and, you know, less enemy HP is probably better than a reroll that could end up being crappy. A lot of people want to beat all of them as a register. Oh! Oh, sledgehammer! Oh! Sledgehammer! I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat the wrench. I'm gonna eat this. Actually, we're gonna keep this. No, we're gonna eat this. No, we're gonna keep this. I like the revolver more! Oh my gosh. I gotta take a drink. I'm not, I'm not drinking at all. It's unhealthy not to drink. And I 
And Big Bad is dead. Thanks to the almighty power of the Sledgehammer. He's dead thanks to the almighty power of the Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer is so good. We're gonna actually take the assault rifle. Assault rifle is way better. Way better. See if we can get that level four. Come on, bam! Oh, level four. Give me. Oh, that's exactly what I want. Melee range. Better weapon nutrition. Yep. Throne butt's great because it's it's different for each character. It's the one mutation that's different for each character. Throne butt for robot means that all my uh, everything I get from eating guns. Better. So, like, if I heal, it heals me for more. Which is super good. As you might imagine, it's super useful to heal more. And there's more melee range, like... With the more melee range in the sledgehammer, I can attack literally through every wall in the game and just kill everything. I don't know how he hit me there. I'm not going to debate it. That didn't give me. I was hoping for health. That's a mimic. Yeah, there's mimics. There's mimics? No! Yeah, there's mimics. Totally mimics. my rads. No rads. That melee range, man. Oh. I think I just won. Oh, and it healed me. I was oh no, the sledgehammer! What was that all about? Sure, energy weapons deal more damage. I lost my sledgehammer. Oh, this is not a police treasure. Break it. I <laughs> tried to walk through and I missed. Yeah. I don't have bloodlust or anything either. I'm gonna take the bouncer shock. Bouncer shock is better.
God. All right, well, that's going to do it for this stream. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we uh, made it to the Crystal Caves. That's good news. That's good news. Thank you guys all for hanging out. We beat Pokemon Black version finally. We'll probably be playing some uh, some little indie games over the next couple of like next week or two. Probably some Nuclear Throne, Star Wars Rogue. Probably a lot of Nuclear Throne because people voted to watch uh, Nuclear Throne. But probably more Nuclear Throne coming up. And then uh, maybe some Star Wars Rogue, Isaac Gungeon games like those. Maybe some uh, our darker purpose because that's one that. I never really played a whole bunch, but I, it was kind of like Isaac, and I want to jump back in and see if it's good good, or if it's just another Isaac ripoff kind of thing, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out, everybody in the chat, you guys are awesome for hanging out and seeing me through with uh, Kevin to defeat Pokemon Black, and then now for the last hour or so, a, a little, little less than an hour playing Nuclear Throne, so thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next stream, my name is Pentahybrid, and I will see you then. Catch you later.